Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix stuttering issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to set the game priority in Task Manager. So for this, uh, launch the game first and once the game is up and running, now you can make a right click on the Start menu and then go to the Task Manager and then go to the Details tab over here. Here you can see Details tab, click on it and then find the game exe file over here. So here you can see two exe file. So make a right click on the exe file and then go to set priority and then you can set it to high. You can even try real time. So first of all, try high. If that does not work, you can even try real time. So set it to high and then click on change priority and do the same thing with the second exe file. Make a right click, set priority and then set it to high. Now click on change priority and now you can check still not working the next step is to turn off or turn on hardware accelerated gpu scheduling in windows settings so open windows settings and then go to system and then go to display and then scroll down and then click on graphics and then click on this down arrow which says advanced graphics settings and now over here if hardware accelerated is on over here you can turn it off and then check then launch the game once again and then check now for many user turning off has worked and for many user turning on has worked so you have to try both so turn it off launch the game and then check if that does not work you can turn it on again launch the game and then check and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to set shadow quality to low in game settings so launch the game and then you can go to settings over here and then go to display and graphics now over here scroll down and click on advanced quality settings if this is logged in that case select custom for render quality preset once you set it to custom you should be able to click on advanced quality settings and here you can see uh, shadow quality so if this is set to like high you can set it to no and then you can check still not working the next step is to turn on DLSS now for this you can select DLSS in the game so scroll down over here you can see super slam sampling so you can select DLSS over here now once you select DLSS now set this to uh, you can set it to performance or may balanced or you can set it to quality and then check now the next step is to switch to window mode so at the top here you can see screen mode now if this is set to full screen uh, you can you can try borderless you can even go for window mode and lower down resolution now if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then check now the next step is to turn off ray tracing now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you so if you can you can just turn if this is on you can turn it off and then check now the next step is to download latest dlss from nvidia website so you can go to google and in google search you can just type in uh, nvidia download dlss and then you can go to nvidia website here you can see nvidia developer go to nvidia website now on this website scroll down And here you can see download DLSS 3.7.20 and you can put a check on I agree and then you can click on this UE 5.4 and let the download complete. This will download a zip file. Now why I am doing this because with the game it's the older version. So if you go to game manage browse local files and if you open this SH Proto plugins folder and then DLSS and then binaries with third party win64 you can see this file make a right click and then go to properties and go to the de details tab and over here you can see 3.5.10 and the latest one right now is like 3.7.20 so this is the latest this is the older one and this one is the latest so we will replace we will replace this file with the new one so once the download is complete uh, you can go to the download and this will download a zip file you can make a right click and then click on extract all 
And once the extract is complete, you can open this folder and then open plugins, DLSS, and then you will see binaries and then third party Win64. And here you can see this DLSS DLL file, make a right click and you can check the version details. Here you can see 3.7.20. So you can copy this. Now before you do make any changes, before you replace it, uh, you can do one thing. Uh, you can just create a backup. So you can just copy this DLL file, plugins, DLSS, and this is in the game installation folder. Copy this old version. You can copy this. I will just cut it and you can maybe, you know, create a backup once you have a backup. So if something wrong happens, you can always put it back. Now, this is the new one which we have installed and downloaded from the website. So copy this, copy this, and then you can paste it in the game folder. This is the location. And now you can paste it over here. Now, once you have the latest one over here, now, now you can launch the game and then check. This has worked for uh, many players, so it might work for you. Now, the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch options. So you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX12. Now, this has improved the performance. So try dash DX12 and then launch the game and then check. Still not working, then you can try dash DX11 and then check. Still not working, you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to disable Steam overlay. Now, for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. So, if this is on, you can just turn this off. And once you turn it off, again, type in dash DX12 over here, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, try DX11 and then check dash DX11. Also close all the overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, you can turn off the overlay in Discord. You can go to Discord settings and turn off overlay. You can go to GE Force Experience settings and turn off in-game overlay. Or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Unit, or any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card. Make sure that you select uh, your graphic card over here. So once you select your graphic card, then select your operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, it will go to another page. And over here, you can see at the top GeForce Game Ready Driver. So the latest right now is 565.90. So you can click on view and then you can click on download. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. Then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once this is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now AMD card user, you can first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then install the latest graphic card driver from NV uh, from AMD website and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then go to graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So open the game folder and then select the game exe file. Click on add. Again click on add a desktop app and then Open this SH Proto binaries Win64. Select this, then click on Add. Once it is added, type in in the search this list. Type in Silent Hill. Let me check. Yeah. So once you type in the name, just scroll down. You will see two exe file. Now click on this down arrow, and over here you have to select high performance and your graphic card. You will see your graphic card. So select high performance. Do the same thing with the second exe. Select the high performance over here. Now launch the game and then check.
now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheels pedals or any kind of usb adapter dongle connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor do not ignore these steps if you have any third party application or services running close it also if you have under voltage computer remove the under volt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on okay and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 now click on set over here then click on okay okay apply okay okay now restart computer make sure that you restart the computer after this now the next step is to update the system bios so go to system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell lenovo user go to lenovo website so whichever brand you have go to the go to the system manufacturer website select your model number and then find the latest bios update available and then install it in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system bios and during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game the last step is to install the game to ssd so if you have install the game to hdd then try to install the game to ssd because ssd is recommended to play this game so use ssd now you can also try to install the game to different drive and then check so you can just make a right click on the game select manage and then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to improve the performance so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel